The next project is the Icon Accessible Barbecue Cabinet. If we think about it, how many of our good memories from our childhood have been around the free public barbecue? This product, it makes it accessible for everyone. The Icon Accessible Barbecue to me is just a, it's a really good example of considered design. In my books, it's the, it's the iPhone of barbecues. This next innovation improves one of the fundamental rights of every Australian. I'm not talking about free speech or the right to vote. No, it's the right to a free public barbecue. And the story starts here at the Christie's Barbecue Factory just outside of Melbourne. Well, welcome to the factory. This is the uh, barbecue home where we manufacture up to 1,500 barbecues per year. All over Australia, all over the world. Exactly, yeah. The story though here starts in 1965. Correct. So it started with my grandfather, Sandy Christie, and it wasn't up until the 70s that we started manufacturing our first public barbecue. Okay, so we're hitting flared plants and psychedelic and Christie's barbecues in the park. That's right, that's right. But that now leads us to this innovation, which is the icon. So through our design and innovation, we started manufacturing cabinets and designing them and improving them with feedback from customers and clients and users. And that's really what's led us to the icon. Right, so Sandy started with an idea, but now you've gone completely high tech. That's right, exactly. Where do you draw inspiration from for a barbecue? Inspiration comes from everywhere in design, you know, in nature, in architecture, you name it. So it's bringing that in and making that relevant or applicable to our industry. So stainless steel, boys, and that's important because it's easily scalable. Yeah, for sure. So the end of life of this product makes it, if it's 100% stainless, is it can be easily recycled at the end of its life, which is a huge piece of what we're trying to achieve. And it's a big, big demand from our clients as well. So this is now a new sleek design. For you though, what is the innovation with the new icon? I think for me it was the accessibility and making sure that anybody in the community can use the barbecue safely. So the most recognisable feature is the, the recess access in here for wheelchairs. So it gives the ability of um, a wheelchair user to be able to get right in under here and still operate and cook on top of the barbecue. So when we designed this for accessibility, we did have to reduce the overall bench height. And when doing that, um, little hands can reach a bit further. So we need to extend the bench top both for increased uh, preparation space, but also to make sure the little hands can't reach the start button. So Alex, the team have designed this really cool cabinet which dovetails into a range of different cooktops. That's right. So we manufacture both gas and electric cooktops and our new generation CC2 really is the perfect match for our Icon cabinets. They're smart, efficient, and probably one of the most uh, reliable products in the market. Mm. Now you are literally in the public space. You're not in the domestic market. You're there for the people. That's right. So Alex, from the factory floor to the great outdoors, this is where your barbecues are in their native habitat. That's exactly right. Look, and they're playing an important role in public parks and development, in particularly at the design phase. Barbecues are almost becoming a bit of a focal point in the design of public open spaces. This is a park that's less than a year old, and our barbecues really are a centerpiece of that. Now tell us, is there any secret of cooking a snag on an outdoor barbecue? Well, probably not to be talking to you as much because then I'm not paying close attention. Um, but really, it's just turn and flip. Turn and flip. <laughs> Got it. Simple as that. So, Alex, this is the, the early 1990 version your, your old man might have put in. That's exactly right. They've definitely come a long way. But, you know, the saying goes is they're still a iconic piece of Australian history. So, you know, they play a huge part um, 20, 30 years ago in Australian society and helping build stronger, engaged communities. And I think today they're just becoming even more of an important piece of that. So next time you fire up a barbie in the park, before you throw a snag on and crack a coldie, spare a thought for the all Aussie design team, keeping the flame alive. Mm, very good.